hello guys welcome again in the first video we have seen how you can design a form and template like this one in second video we have learned how we can insert the record and we have seen that record is also there in table from this form now we are going to display the same record here by clicking on read button so for that just i'm going in the portion of read here if you click on read button then i execute the query i see rows and error like this i see db dot query and here i just perform the select stuff from student like this now i say if in rows i just do small and you can do capital also but i say wrong so small one so error not equal to null so i just uh, do the same thing which i did here i just send the error information if there is an error so i will send the error like this else else if there is no error then i will send i will display information here that i'm going to fetch from here so what i do i just create a data of a string slice type in this data i'm going to give the information that if if there is no error and we are in else part so i'm going in the uh, data uh, equal to append like this and here i will add the table first of all i will create a table and i say border of this table would be 2 like this now once again i do the append like this and here i'm going to create the row of table then then i create th heading and i say student id here th i close the th then i say one more th and i say student name once again then i say th last one student course like this th and at the last i close the tr so this is the second one append now what i do i say for rows dot next if there is a record available if there if the some record is found from the select query then i will scan that in i will scan that in uh, you say student so i have to create here the student type of i can say s type of student info like this and here i will get the s dot s id then i will get s dot name then i will get s dot course like this and then i will append this one here and i will do that thing in tr first then td and uh, i will do this in fmt dot sprintf like this you see uh not sprintf because i have to add this first of all so i will do in same but i have 
to give the value also so I need to use as printf fmt dot as printf and uh, here I say percentage s like this then td again td one more and percentage s close td then once again I say td percentage s and close td like this and uh, after that I will say here s dot s id then s dot name then s dot course like this s printf okay so I did for append here and after the form what I did data dot append and uh, I just close my table like this and if everything is okay I'm going to send here in a message the data but that data is in a string format so I have to convert it so I say strings dot trim strings uh, I say fmt dot s printf so like this we have convert this into the string So I pass the data here and uh, everything is okay I think now I save this one and I just close this one and I start once again and if I go there click on read you see the record is coming from the student and we have the bold also here so one bracket is also coming so I will remove the bracket here and size I will reduce the size also so what I do here I say border is 1 and second I will uh, remove this from the heading so I remove it from the heading portion because it's so big I save it and uh, for removing the uh, brackets from square bracket here I say strings dot trim and trim from this string that would be of a square type that I want to remove okay I save it once again I try to run it allow it and I just run once again click on read and you see the record is coming but two time is displaying me welcome to read why so I just do this also if I click on I click I just insert the third value also I say this one I insert record inserted I say read so record is coming but one more at time I am getting the record so I have to check this one also so 
okay that is coming because uh, this is also there so i have to remove this one from this okay so i just save this one once again i close this one and i run once again run it and i do once again and i see read the record record is coming on top of this so done we have done the reading also in next video we are going to learn how you can update your record when you press the id if the id is available then it record will update so how you will do that we will see in next video if you really like this video kindly do subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video and waiting for next one also thank you Thank you.